Jen Moore's Weekend Agenda on Facebook Live, coming to you from Hamden. We are sponsored by the University of Maryland, Baltimore. Tell us about your plans in the comments field below, and let us know what else you have scheduled for this weekend. So, Simone, before we get this party started, I just need you to indulge me for a minute. This is important to me. I understand. So, I just want to give a little RIP out to Soundgarden frontman Chris Cornell, because he was very influential in my concert-going uh, days and generation, and I think we're losing a lot of really amazing voices lately, and it really sucks. I know. Um, I saw him several times, including once at a Lollapalooza, where the other headliners included Pearl Jam and Red Hot Chili Peppers, Ooh. and I didn't even know I liked Soundgarden until I heard them that day, and I was like, whoa, blown away. Um, so Chris, today I'm feeling Minnesota for you. Mm. All right, so let's lighten this mood up considerably. Well, a great way to lighten up the mood is to go see Noises Off um, at Everyman Theater tonight. Um, it's a theatrical force about a London West End theater company on opening night and the crazy stuff that happens backstage. Um, Jay Moore representative Amanda hi. is going to be there. So say hi to her if you see her there. Um, should be great. And it's going to be running through June 18th. So if you can't make it tonight, like me, you'll have other times to go. Um, also in theater news, jazz is opening at center stage. And that should be another great performance. It's based on the Toni Morrison novel by the same name. And that runs through June 25th. So you'll have even more time to go see that. And um, you should do it. Okay, so speaking of the theater, if you go to jmoreliving.com and sign up for our newsletter, you will be entered to win um, into a random drawing to win tickets for Finding Neverland mm. at the Hippodrome, which opens in June. Great. What's happening on Saturday? I can't think of anything. Hmm. 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 What is this thing on my head? <laughs> Me too. Ah, there's a little horse racing going on this weekend. Never heard of it. Ah. The um, 142nd Preakness Stakes will be happening this Saturday at Pimlico Racecourse. Um, anyone ever check that out before? Or do you remember if you... If you no, no one remembers. You don't We've remember, all been there. We have no idea. But you don't remember nope. what happened. Nope. Okay. Well, hopefully you will maintain your memory this time if you're planning to go. Um, we'll be watching to see if Kentucky Derby winner Always Dreaming can win another one here in Baltimore. Um, so, Don, your best... Fascinators. Fascinators and your seersucker, seersucker suits. That's hard to say. It's like a tongue twister. And sip some black eyed Susans and place your bets. So, for those of you who need to know, which is probably all of you, a black eyed Susan includes orange juice, pineapple juice, vodka, light rum, mm. and orange liqueur. Does that sound good to anybody? All right, so, <laughs> me too, me too. So these fascinators <clears throat> happen to be courtesy of Kelly Chase. She is our new events and promotions coordinator, and she's actually here with us today. So take it away, Yay. Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Hi, thank you guys for having me. I'm excited to be here. Um, I just want to introduce myself and to let you know that Jay Moore is partnering in a lot of great sponsored events this summer. Um, on Thursdays, we're going to be at Boundary Row um, for their Twilight Thursday concerts. And on Fridays, we're going to be at the Belvedere Square for their Friday um, Summer Sound concerts. So if you're by the area, please stop by and say hello and find me at the Jay Moore table. Please don't be shy. Thanks Great. for having me. Great. Thank Thanks, you, Kelly. Kelly. All right, moving right along. Um, also on Saturday, there is the two, 2017 Baltimore Vintage Expo uh, for those of us who are not going to the races. Um, it's at the Ideal Art Space on the Avenue in Hamden from 11 to 7. And um, I went last year. It was pretty cool. They have all kinds of antique and vintage clothes, furniture, doodads, whatever strikes your fantasy. memorabilia. yeah. So it's worth checking it out. Yeah, I am going to go to see what treasure I can dig up because treasure hunting is always a good option. Mm -hmm. uh, if you just got here, this is Jay Moore's Weekend Agenda on Facebook Live, sponsored by University of Maryland Baltimore. Be sure to comment below, share, like, and follow us at hashtag Jay Moore Weekend. What yes. else is going on this weekend, Simone? E.T. with orchestra at the Meyerhof. Um, nice. Most of us probably at some time have seen the amazing Steven Spielberg film, E.T. Um, now you have a chance to see it um, with accompaniment by the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra. 
um, which will be conducted by Jack Everly, um, projected on a giant HD screen. Um, what better way to see this amazing film? That is super cool. I remember my mom taking me when it first came out, showing my age. And I cried through the whole thing. And my mom was like, why did I take you to see that movie? Do we need to apologize to your mom again this week? <laughs> again, like every week. I'm just letting it all out. It's like therapy. And yeah. Except she doesn't watch, so she doesn't really know that I talk about her yeah, like this. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, what else is happening uh, Saturday and Sunday? Okay. Um, Saturday and Sunday, there's wine in the woods. And for... You know, anyone who's had a bad childhood, you might want to <laughs> stop by. Um, sorry. Um, I did not have a bad no, childhood. Let's teasing. get that clear right I'm now. Teasing. <laughs> oh, wow. and, and I also have to say, I, I, you know, I'm sorry that I didn't suggest that you should Keep drink going. wine. To, all, right. all right. That's good. Um, anyway, for those of you who are curious about Maryland wines or just want to chill outside in a nice setting while listening to some funky music, Wine in the Woods is celebrating its 25th anniversary this year. So Happy anniversary. There's also a Chesapeake Bay Blues Festival, and the music festival lineup will include Johnny Lang, the Fabulous Thunderbirds, Robert Randolph and the Family Band, and more. And that's at Sandy Point State Park. All right. If you're just joining us, we're Simone and Amanda, and Kelly's with us here today, too, uh, from J. Moore in Hamden. This is your weekend agenda brought to you by University of Maryland, Baltimore. Please like, comment, share, and follow at hashtag J. Moore Weekend. So Sunday. Sunday, 80s week at the Parkway. Nice. And they're going to be showing 9 to 5. Working 9 to, to five. 5. What a way to make a living. Okay, anyway, enough of that. Starring Dolly Parton in her film debut, if you can imagine, and Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin trying to crack that glass ceiling. Get it, girls. Who would have known that they would have had their own show how many years from 30, uh, 40 uh, years yeah. later? But they're awesome together. They yeah, are really good they team. really are. Um, that's at 420 on Sunday. Um, and for people with kids who need something t- to occupy them, um, there's Spring Into the Zoo at the Maryland Zoo with Impact and PJ Library. Uh, Impact is the young adult uh, program of the Associated, and PJ Library is that great program that sends books with Jewish content to um, Jewish kids and their families. So they'll be hosting this. There'll be story time, zoo tours, snacks uh, for kids from six months to 11 years old. Excellent. Fun. All right. So I have something to tell you guys about that is not related to anything happening this weekend and isn't really happening anytime too soon, but nostalgic Baltimoreans, and that's what most of us are really are going to love it. So this is the deal. Baltimore Business Journal reported this week that Hammerjacks, the legendary concert venue, the place we all have stories from, hey, um, has applied for a liquor license. And the new plans include a 2,500 square foot concert space, indoor bar, outdoor beer garden, and an event space. And they're scheduling that for 2018 opening. So go ahead and start recalling all those fun mosh pit and stage diving stories from your rock and roll glory days now. Um, Okay, we are actually getting ready to sign off. I want to remind you that uh, we're doing Jay Moore's Need to Know on Tuesdays at 1230. Great show. Thank you. And that's a conversation about the week's news stories with Jonathan Oleski. And there's certainly a lot to talk about. (laughs) Always, right? We're never never lacking for material on that one. Not this year. (laughs) Um, Okay. So (laughs) please join us on Tuesdays at 1230 for that. And then also remember to watch us here every Friday at 1230. Thank you for joining your weekend agenda with us. Uh, Thanks to Maryland and Baltimore, University of Maryland and Baltimore for sponsoring our Facebook Live event. And in the meantime, please check out our events calendar at jmoreliving.com slash events. And giddy up!